5th of March 2017. Okay. Uh, coincidentally, this is the second case of Wesley with this uh, skin disease. It's very itchy and, uh, and uh, it seems that there is no cure for it because many vets are given steroids and it doesn't work. Now, the thing is, the other one was a male, not, not neutered 10 years, so this is a female spade, right? Uh, and this female, the skin disease is not as bad as the other one, but the other one had the skin disease for 6 years, this one only 2 years and like 2 years old. What happened is that the dog keeps on biting the paws, scratching the neck, and scratching the face. And uh, you can see this dog actually is very good. You can see here this lower part, not, not black like the other dog. The other was all black, and here all black, and the neck all black. So, the other dog, surprisingly, you can see the other dog, this part, the top part, was clear. The skin is good and pink, and the top part, come closer. But this dog, it seems to be itchy, so it has been scratching under the bed. How it got to be itchy here? The top part is itchy. Okay. So now, these are the, the scabs and the... There's a smell now. Yeah. There's a smell. But the other dog, I'm surprised that he doesn't have this uh, ear infection. This one has a very bad ear infection. Now, the other dog is on this drug. There's one drug which is so far quite effective against it. But it's an immunosuppressive drug. So the owner has given the dog the, the, the drug. And he uh, and, uh, it, it seems to have relieved the itch for the last two weeks before I saw the dog. And so, but it's an immunosuppressive drug. So, uh, so we, 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 of course, it's like using steroids in the sense that uh, it stops the itch and, and the, the hair grows back and there's no more scratching. Now, now Westies are famous for, the has a breed, famous for this skin disease, huh, whereby they are very itchy, very itchy in the body, especially the part, the paws and the neck. Now, this uh, disease is a breed specific to, to Westies. Now, what's the treatment? The treatment is is uh, difficult because some some cases they are due to yeast infections. Yeast infections. So once you resolve the yeast infections and uh, make sure that the vesti is stress free or not allergic to some food or environment or shampoo, it seems to have cured in some cases. Uh, but in other cases, it seems to recur, come back again. Okay, so, so you will see this one. I'll put, just take an ultraviolet light and see whether there is any fungus. Or ultraviolet. If there's fungus or yeast, we will stand this still first. Just uh, for a quick check for fungus, ultraviolet light. It's mainly for microscoring. Let me switch off first. And uh, let's see any, any ultraviolet. Any fluorescent or not? Let's see. No. So the now you can see the fluorescence. There's fluorescence. Well, can you see? Very nice. Very oh, nice texting. Okay. Now the owner has been applying some oil as well. No. This part is. Uh, this, the reason this dog is not so serious I think is because the owner came on the shaving board and then giving spa treatment. So it's not so bad as far as the fish is concerned. You want to see? Come see how you see. If, if there's a ringworm, the, the hairs will shine. Fluorescent right now. It will shine. The, like greenish glow. Oh no, please don't shine. Why? You say have ring. Ringworm, shine. ringworm, no. Ringworm. No, we are just testing the ringworm. Okay. It's out of very big. She don't have right? Yes, I want to show you. Oh. Let's see. If you don't have that, you won't fluoresce. No? Fluorescent, I see. Fluorescent, you see? Shiny, shiny, you see? No? Mm -hmm. no? These are ringworms up there. There's more ringworm here. No? See the whole hair? Normal hair don't have. So, one of the causes of this is a lot of ringworms. No? Of course, the video won't be able to show, but anyway, this is just a one possibility is ringworm, okay, the beauty finishing.